Well, it's a question we've asked for centuries. Is there life outside of our home here on Earth? Yeah, a NASA mission could finally solve that question, and it got off the ground thanks to some help from a Quad Cities native. Take a look. It's what I wanted to do since I was a little kid, and I was like, of course, like, I, I, like, I don't even know what the salary is. I don't care. <laughs> Ramey Traub is far from the only person who's dreamed at a job at NASA, but he's one of the few now propelling our curiosity across the stars, and in this case, to Europa, one of Jupiter's moons. Obviously, it's a massive ice ball, but underneath that ice is an ocean with more water than the Earth's, all, all the ocean, um, Earth's oceans combined. The readings of a satellite mission to Europa could confirm the existence of life outside of our Earth, but it comes with a serious challenge. But when they actually uh, 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 orbit Jupiter, they are in that radiation belt, and where Europa's at is actually one of the strongest parts of that you know, radiation belt. Radiation that could fry all the electronics on board, creating an engineering conundrum for Traub, who helped design the craft's radiation shield. We, we went with the uh, aluminum titanium uh, alloy uh, for the radiation shielding, uh, but also we're going to be doing orbit, uh, orbiting Jupiter instead of just orbiting Europa, uh, and then we're going to do flyby. So it'll go for a short period inside that heavy radiation, and then it'll release itself out, kind of refresh itself, and then it'll do it again, and we'll be doing that roughly about 50 times. But while the satellite does its dance across the cosmos, it'll carry a piece of Trop's heart with it. There's a, a chip that was involved on the uh, on the vault plate that holds two, three million people's names on from the public that you can put your name on. Fortunate enough to be able to put my daughter's name Renata, and then also someone else uh, here that's uh, been really special to me and kind of just pushed me to uh, look forward to the stars. And as this mission looks to make history, Trump hopes it can serve as an inspiration. If you study for it and you have a passion for it, there's nothing stopping you. I, I, I'm proof of that. Proof of a special achievement as Trop and NASA hope to find proof of life in our solar system. Now Saturday is the first stop for the Europa Clippers journey, a gravity slingshot around Mars. NASA carefully planned out this journey so the satellite can get a gravity assist from Mars and then it catches Earth again as it revolves back around the sun. Now it puts it between Mars and Jupiter propelling its path to Europa as you see on your screen there. The mission will wrap up in 2030.